Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, something is horribly wrong at the She Residence. One could say that it is a curse of evil. Yeah, that's actually what tonight's movie is. Curse of evil. To another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Unchained from the Content Nazis! Episode number 19, yes, episode 19, coming off of last night's good movie. It's a good movie, it just has a, a bunch of uh, little holes here and there. I mean, God forbid. Uh, during the summertime, the pollen count goes up and you have to sneeze. I guess everyone with allergies is dead. Anyways, A Quiet Place, A Quiet Place. Still a good movie. I suggest you watch it. Anyways, now tonight, tonight, we return to the eternal evil of Asia. Another batshit crazy Hong Kong horror masterpiece. And that movie is... Siejo, or... Curse of Evil. Yes, evil. So what is Curse of Evil about? Well, so the Shi family is a very wealthy family that some years ago were raided by bandits and murdered really, really viciously. And a bunch of bodies were dumped in a well, and apparently that pissed off the dragon god. And therefore, the Shi family ever since has been cursed with the 20-year-old uh, patriarch, matriarch, whatever, um, landowner, the person who is going to basically become the, the master of the Xi dynasty, dies horribly. And so that brings us today where the, the grandmother who's lived through these tragedies is... Um, inferred, she's paralyzed, she needs help, so a bunch of the extended family has moved into the main house compound to help her out. Now we have a large amount of people, including servants, servants uh, the old uncle servant. Anyways, a bird dies and falls on his head and it is a bad omen, a portent for the evil to come, and yes, the evil comes. It comes first slowly with with accidents happening, like one of the uh, maids catches her hair on fire and then her back inexplicably just bursts aflame and uh, other little accidents like that but soon turns deadly as some sort of evil force is going around killing the family members one by one. So let's get to those scores, shall we? Violence and gore, I am going to give this a 4 out of 5. At the beginning of this movie, I didn't think I was going to give this a high score at all. It looked like it was just going to be some cheap blood here and there, but to my pleasant supply, supplies, pleasant surprise, the, the gore escalated as the movie, movie went on and was, wow, the Feast of the Senses, where we have killer frogs with razor-sharp teeth that hunger for human flesh start tearing away at poor guy's face. We've got beheadings. We have the lizard, monster, dragon, demon thing that likes to just tear people's throats and face off and uh, does other things to the ladies. Uh, well, anyways, so yeah, it, it definitely becomes uh, much more uh, blood spattered as it progresses. So I'm giving it a four out of five. I love the effects, even though some of the uh, frogs are puppets or little hand puppets at times, but still, they're nasty and disgusting and slimy and not CG and look way better than if they were CG frogs. <laughs> Anyways, so four out of five shock value, a three out of five. Look, there are actually some good jump scares in this movie that you don't see coming, which is really great. Uh, you don't usually get that in these kind of these older 
uh, Hong Kong exploitation horror films, but it's definitely was 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 great. And plus, you just have like like flesh eating frogs and demon rape. Uh, yeah, it's. There's some shocking material here. It's so a three out of five. Plot, I am giving it a three and a half out of five. Um, there is a lot of like family drama in this movie. A lot of uh, posturing, trying to p put themselves in the position to be the heir, to, to be the, the executor of the estate. And that stuff kind of uh, was, you know, okay, but I think maybe done a little over much. Uh, some of the family drama between, like, the the the, the son, uh, who wasn't the biological son of the one father, but still was a son being a complete sleaze and asshole. And that stuff probably could have done a little less of, but, man, the actual story, when you, when you get the final twist reveal... It's like, wow, this actually makes sense. And they go and they actually show you like how it was possible that this stuff happened. And it was actually quite satisfying and really made me dig the movie a lot more. So kudos to them for doing that uh, and planning it out that way. It, it, was, it really worked and paid off. So three and a half out of five. Acting, I'm giving it a two out of five. Look... There's a lot of little bit over dramatic here. In almost every performance in this movie, just seems a little bit, uh, a little bit overplayed. Especially the sleaze bag son, who has a penchant for for gambling and trying to uh, seduce women by hypnotizing them. And by seduce, I mean actually just you know rape them. Uh, it's 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 yeah. He's he's a a class asshole who. Does he even care if you're somewhat related? I mean, he, he attacks, like, his cousin in the house in the middle of the day when she's waiting for her tutor to show up. So, you know, people are going to walk in. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. Anyways. So, <laughs> so anyways, two out of five. Um, nudity, I am giving it a two and a half out of five. This is poor... This poor servant girl is just like, like, oh, you know what? This scene, we're just going to tear off your clothes. Um, all right, and then this next scene, we're going to tear off your clothes. And then, I don't know, in this scene, we're going to tear off your clothes. I mean, just, I mean, it would be kind of interesting, actually, if, if, if it was um, done a little differently. It was the idea of the actress, where they're like, you know, the actress is going, you know, I like this scene, uh, director, but maybe... I'm just throwing this out here. Maybe they tear my clothes off and then then go on to do whatever. It's like, hmm, you're right. How about in, in this next scene, you know what they should do? They should tear off my clothes. You know what? I like what you're... I like, I like where your head is at, young lady. I like where your head is at. I don't know. It probably wasn't that. But, my God, the poor girl just, just, just can't keep her clothes on. Uh, which is... Not a bad thing for the audience, but anyway, so two and a half out of five. Uh, enjoyment factor is a four out of five. It's weird. It's violent. It's screwed up. It's got some fun moments, a lot of fun moments, and is has a kind of a satisfying conclusion, I might add, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Sure, it's got some problems. It's a little slow at times, and of course, you know, the, the family drama, a little bit too much. But 4 out of 5, and my overall impression is a 3 out of 5. Yes, it is dated. It is an old movie. It's in Chinese. And, you know, the acting is suspect here and there. And, yes, it's a little slow. But still, a solid, solid, fun movie. 3 out of 5. That averages to a 3.1 out of 5. It is a roller coaster of fun. Uh, well, maybe not necessarily. It's more of just a, de <laughs> a descent into madness and chaos, and a like, what the hell am I watching type of movie. But it's, I just, I, I just love it. I just love these kind of movies, man. I just love it. Ah! Crazy, insane, messed up stuff going on, and I like it. So, there you have it. What do you think? Did you see Curse of Evil? Probably not. I don't know if a lot of people have seen it, but if you did, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me, am I right? Is it a whole lot of fun? Or am I wrong? Is it just complete steaming, burning pile of human excrement? I don't know. 
I think you're wrong, but whatever. Leave a comment in the comment section, leave a like, subscribe, blah blah, notification bell, yada yada, Patreon, blah blah, I don't know, I'm just parroting all the popular YouTube end phrases. But, until then, everybody, I will see you next time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, and remember, internet, stay scary, and, um, yeah, if, if... <laughs> If you if you happen to be working for a well-to-do family and one of the uh, members uh, hypnotizes you and uh, sexually abuses you, don't don't continue working. You're just gonna have your clothes torn off, scene after scene after scene, and then some monster dragon thing is gonna have its way with you, and I. Pretty sure that's not pleasant getting covered with pink vomit and shit like that. So, yeah, don't do it. Quit. Press charges. Yeah, quit and press charges. Call the cops. That asshole. Well, you know he gets what it's coming to him, anyways. But uh, yeah, until next time. Blah!